Well, it has been a really long time since I have done a video review, but since I have a decent camera now, I thought I'd give it another shot and to commemorate. I thought I'd start by doing a week looking at Ramjet. Ramjet was one of the few Transformers I remember having as a kid. Um, the G1 version, that is. And, uh, and so that design has always stuck with me and been one of my favorite looks. So here we have the Generations, or Universe, uh, Ramjet. That was the U.S. version, and then the Henke is the Japanese version. Um, when I did get start collecting Transformers towards the tail end of Universe, it was the classics design that designs that got me interested in it. So here's Ramjet. Um, he's a off-white or cream-colored bot with dark gray, various minor differences in the paints. Um, and he's got red wings, except on the U.S. version, it's only red on the back, and it's got a strange little design painted in there, whereas the Japanese version looks a lot more like the G1 figure. Um, this one has the Repro Labels stickers applied, so it's kind of got some G1 detail in the fence up there, and on his knees, and on his feet, which they never stuck really well right there, but this is a great little, little bot with some decent Posability has a little bit of outward swing on the shoulders due to that transformation joint, but other than that, elbows and just a swivel shoulder. The legs are decent ball jointed hips and single knees, and they're really, really stiff on this one. And apparently, the cannons don't stay on his shoulders very well. Um, <clears throat> this is a really old figure. At this point, I probably actually don't need to demonstrate too much how it moves and what it looks like. It's got spring-loaded rocket launchers, so that's great. Wow. That actually had a lot of force. Um, I do actually prefer the Japanese one because it looks more like the G1 toy where the, uh, where the wings are all red. I don't really care for the chrome um, of the engines, but that was a hallmark of the NK line is random bits would be uh, chrome and there's worse things that could have chrome. I mean it's fine it just it's not quite what I expect it to look like. Um, anyway this is a fun little fun little guy in the generations line. This is a deluxe class so he's you know, five-ish inches tall. Uh, I like how the, the cockpit folds in on itself and swivels around to store inside of the chest there rather than doing the push through the back like the G1 toy does or the early masterpiece. Is that close to the way? Something's not right. That's not in the way. And then swivel his head. Probably should have done this off camera because I don't usually demonstrate transformations. I let other people do that, but this is such an easy figure to transform that they're boom done. If I can line things up, which I don't seem to be able to. Why not? So there, this looks very similar to the G1 toy, which had maroon wings. I like the the shape of them. Uh, these have little jaggedy edges that the G1 figure didn't have, of course, but it looks neat. It's a slightly stubby looking jet, but cool nonetheless. And then you can stick the things on the lower backs of his wings, like that. And that is NK Ramjet. This, when I got started collecting Transformers, um, Towards the end of the generation, uh, the end of the classics line. Nope, try it one more time. The end of the Universe 2.0 line. Um, Ramjet was one of the first ones that I knew I had to try and pick up. Um, I think I probably looked to make sure there was a Ramjet figure before I decided to commit to transform or collecting Transformers. Because again, he has just been always been one of my favorite designs by virtue of having him as a kid. I don't remember the TV show was even in the cartoon. I don't know. I've never watched any of the other cartoons other than the 
G1 show and then like the first five episodes of Prime. Um, but anyway, this was supposed to be really short and sweet just to try out the new camera. And I have a couple other Ramjet figures that I've acquired over the last years that I will review later this week. Um, since this is done now, we can quickly compare the the US version and the Japanese version. I like how this looks like the the G1 figure more, but I do appreciate the interesting paint deco they've put on the back of this. It looks nice. I initially, when I collected Generations and Universe, thought the rub science being on here was really neat, but any more, I don't know, they're really ugly. <laughs> this one's on crooked. And you have to sit there and rub it or hold it, get it warm for it to show up. So I definitely prefer just big purple Decepticon logos on it, but I didn't finish swapping this guy's head around. Um, he had a neat little face. Can I focus in on that? Not in this lighting. There we go, better. It's an alright face. Uh, but anyway, it's a nice little jet mode, reminiscent of, but not identical to the G1 figure. And that's these ones. I like them. They were great. Now it's really bright. So hopefully I can do these semi-regularly-ish. I know I'm not a professional reviewer, but I have some fun toys and I like putting things on camera. So anyway, thanks for watching.